So absolutely fantastic that we get to bring you another game. We were supposed to be out of time, but it looks like, hey, power to the players. We're going to give you one more. So now we're on board with North America off the bat. You know what? I want to actually spectate Big Timer to kick things off. He has the MP7, and the MP7 with extended clips, it looks like, because he has 54 rounds there. And he's going to go ahead and toss out a shock charge right off the bat to control that middle choke point. He's going to try and hit fire with that laser sight attachment. It's not that good, Big Timer. <laughs> so he didn't manage to get the kill right there. And as he spawns back in, you see the hard point is located inside this headquarters building right now and it looks like Big Timer does pick up a nice two-piece right there jumping around the corner and he makes it three but almost makes it four and now Big Timer spawning back in he gets taken out and let's see this hard point has a lot of action on it we'll jump on board with Quantum who's managing to stay alive it is contested and now you see the Europeans managing to clear it out and Quantum has a good sight on that choke point he's got two doorways he's got to look after nice shot right there but nice Comes up massive with a three-piece grenade through the doorway. And that's going to hold it down for a few more seconds for the Europeans. And the Europeans now have great control as we take a look at the map. Yes, they do. They have great control here. But the hard point has switched. And let's see what team can make it there first. As it's an all-out rush for that hard point. But the North Americans get a great spawn there. And this is going to be a convergence here. So the North Americans do have control now. But we see... That we have the Europeans closing in quickly and it looks like the Europeans have managed to gain control of this area once more as we see Quantum putting, pulling off some nice shots there on Toby and the Europeans are flooding in from that side and however the North Americans do come up and get Quantum I'm surprised he didn't try and control that top area a little bit more and now you see the North Americans do have control there on the hard point we're on board with Twiz now and you see the minimap is lit up from a UAV and they're just trying to hang tight here and look at this this could be massive from Twiz and yes it is picking up three kills there with the Hellstorm so many players for the Europeans were bunched up right there and they do get a spawn across the map but you know what it was just in time and we'll jump on board with the Europeans as Swanee is now on the objective and so the Europeans are gonna spawn here near the objective and get some time on the board but the North Americans get there so quickly North Americans have been so fast to get there but the Europeans actually have a turret it's a guardian turret located right on the objective you see that right there on Gunchy's screen and it looks like the North Americans may have taken it out which would have been a very smart move yes they did however the Europeans are on this objective and let's see what Shane can do here with the R870 it's a shotgun a very nice choice right here with the R870 he's gonna be in very close quarters but you know what it cost him right there so he was laying down in the wide open now Shane with a care pack he's gonna go ahead and call this in and see if he can help his team out and big timer now on a five kill streak for the North Americans he's getting UAV assists on the board and the Europeans have the lead by one with two minutes and 50 seconds left to go you see a bunch of care packages coming in for both our teams and it looks like a turret no that is a war machine that comes out for Big Timer. This could be absolutely devastating. We'll stay on board with him as this war machine could be massive if he catches some Europeans piled up on the next objective here. And the Europeans are on that. They are scoring points at the moment. It looks like Big Timer is going to decide to go for the cutoff, but he gets taken out. So very unfortunate there. And now Gunshi on a four kill streak. Let's go ahead and jump on board with him. He gets taken out. Now Twiz on the objective for the North Americans. He is racking up points with control. And now let's see what Twiz can do here to try and hold this down. Looks like the North Americans are going to rack up some points here. Oh my. Looks like the Europeans are spawning so far across the map right now. They have some work to do as Twiz is locking this down. And Twiz getting taken out right there. So now let's see what goes down as the Europeans now get control back. So this is all back and forth. Europeans trying to get control. The hard point has switched. And it's in a new location. Let's jump on board with the players from North America who have managed to find it. And it is indoors here. Let's see if they can get a setup before the Europeans can breach the doors. And it looks like the North Americans are set up nicely. They have three or four players around that objective. Meanwhile, their teammates are trying to hold off the Europeans who are making a huge push here. That door is loaded with European players. And let's see if they can actually make it through. 
They are not managing to come through, but on the backside, there are three European players coming through, and they are contesting this nice and effectively. Raiden here as well for the Europeans. Now two players on for the European side, and I have a feeling we're going to have a very close one last minute of this game as we see a frag grenade coming in for Raiden and assist there for Raiden as well, but the North Americans have a guardian turret in a great position right there. 50 seconds left to go here. The Europeans have to make a move. They are down by 37 points, so if the Europeans don't get control here, it is going to be the game. And it looks like that's going to be it. 30 seconds left to go, but the North Americans have already secured the victory. We're on board with Raiden. We'll swap back over to the North American side, and we'll see just what they're talking about. Actually, we have 18 seconds. I'm not going to cut to a listen in. We'll just let it, we'll let Merck close it out here. 10 seconds left to go. Now Merck looking for one more player to take out. This is going to be your final kill cam. And there it is. Merck spots Raiden. And he takes out Nice instead. So the North Americans take it 149 to 101. To con conclude the Black Ops stream here from Gamescom. Thank you everybody for tuning in. I really appreciate it. We'll take it to Major Nelson.